Uh, next energy, let's, let's move on to elbow. Now, elbow stroke, um, you've got a lot of elbows. Vertical, diagonal, you have going up, across, down, uh, hitting back, hitting to the side. It's basically any energy with your elbow uh, we're just using as a strike. The power mechanism is the same for all of them, whether you're going backwards, forwards, in direction. You stretch the spine, you drop and stretch all the way to the elbow, and then instead of throwing the elbow out, you throw the hip down, and the elbow pops out through the stretch. So you stretch, and the energy comes out. And this drop, it's not, I'm not shunting throwing my weight into an elbow. I'm just dropping and stretching, and that power can come out. Now, I want to release the intention on that. I want that to happen, not from me, but from my training partner putting pressure on me to make that happen. So what we do, if I can borrow you for a sec. Yeah, your partner pushes down on the elbow and uh, just go into my shoulder a little bit and then track down into my body. Yeah, so now I'm on my feet. So I feel my partner's balance. He dives his force in and then I just relax and let the reaction happen. And this hand is a listening hand. I want a little bit of force on there. And the more pressure he gets in there, if you get this deep into my shoulder and into my, into my foot, so that's perfect. Feet is going nicely in. Then I just relax and stretch, and I let this, this energy reflect back out through, through the drop and the stretch. That's, I'm just sinking now. Then he gives me a bit more, 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 and I just more, more, more. And I just keep relaxing and taking his energy in. More, 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 more. I just keep releasing whatever's happening in my body and releasing what's happening in his body. Just keep releasing this process. And just keep releasing. Now, if you want to do, do the elbow backwards, then you've got to touch center in there and relax and drop the hip and release. If it's this way, same thing again. If it's down, you push up. And then I touch his base and relax. Be careful that one, sort of pressure on I just, just relax a bit. Whatever elbow direction you want, it doesn't matter. You can be uh, working all those eight directions. Uh, application usually is as, as you touch the person's bridge, you draw them in. If you're continuing to draw them in, then you drop. So there's a, right here, right here. Drive the elbow across. You may be drawing them up and across this one, and then driving the elbow on there, all the way across the other side. Uh, once the power is in your body from a person putting a pressure and you're releasing and dropping to create this rebounding force, then you just hit a person normally because the energy is there. You just drive it and into the technique. Effect is amplified when you have good rollback energy. So if you want the elbow in, in practice to, to, to work, I've got to get the rollback energy in, pop his base, and then execute. If, if I don't get that, then, then he's... he's uh, still got a protective chair, he can do something. But for that moment when his balance pulls out of his body, that's when he's very, very vulnerable. And my energy will have a multiplied effect, even if it's only mechanical energy. If you look at most of the, the knockouts that are happening in boxing, you can see the person's balance just slightly out. Very rarely do people get knocked out when they're in a neutralizing position. They're usually moving in their balances. Their mental body is a little bit out of the physical and it amplifies the effect so they get knocked out more easily. Any questions? Okay, so two hands on the elbow. Yes. Uh, so primarily when it's going up or forward, it's going to be electric and back and down will be um, you, you can work the magnetic lines for the back if you want, um, but most of the time you're using, using electric on the elbow. Yeah. You, you can train both, both electric and magnetic on any of the striking type forces. Where you're doing a whip, so I can go electric, or I can go magnetic and just switch, switch my foot to change the feeling inside my body. So this is electric, and that's magnetic. With the magnetic, it tends to collapse in more. With the electric, it, it stretches out now. So the feeling, the feeling changes. Before you do any type of strike, you want to, you want to get the roll back, break the structure, and then execute your strike. Okay, partner up. Any question that we have?